This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. Uh, let's get right into it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate you guys so much. Just wanted to say that today. And I hope you guys are feeling positive. And if you're not, pretend. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. Uh, young Thug, uh, he didn't, he doesn't realize, he doesn't know why Lil Wayne doesn't like him. Now, uh, Young Thug just dropped a great album. I suggest you check it out. Yo, Young Thug is different, man. Um, why doesn't Lil Wayne like Young Thug? He said, I don't feel like he, when he was on Big Boy uh, TV, he said, I don't know why he doesn't like me. I don't think he likes me. And he said, uh, I think it's because he was a childhood star and Birdman gave him whatever he wanted. He's not used to having things his way. Well, it could be because you named your album Barter Six, and it could be because could be because uh, you were linked to his bus getting blammed up in Atlanta. I mean, they, uh, that could be it. Okay, I mean, just the being linked to that was not good. Um, now, obviously, uh, Young Thug is inspired by Lil Wayne. And even when Lil Wayne quit rap in 2014 because of his issues with Birdman, uh, little uh, Young Thug took to social media and supported Lil Wayne and said, you can't quit, you inspired me. And, uh, and you know, then I was like, mm, Young Thug just doesn't know how to connect with Lil Wayne. And that's it, you know, they'll be fine, you know. And one day they'll probably work together. Uh, you know, Young Thug is come into his own over the past seven years. Many different styles, many different hit records. Uh, I think he's finally just becoming himself. You know, it's just, you know, I think they'll find their way to each other. You know, of course, Lil Wayne forgave Birdman because that's like his dad. You know, like, it's not really his dad, but it's like his dad. Uh, and I don't know, you know, it's like they have a link there with Birdman, so I think they'll be cool one day. Uh, what people should really be concerned about is YF and Lucci and, Bur uh, and Young Thug. I, I, I'll never stop stressing that. Uh, that is a very dangerous situation, um, that I hope gets resolved. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get into the next story. We got Bob Baby again. She was forced to apologize to Nicki Minaj. Now, she was trying to point out that Nicki and no no rappers write all their lyrics and all that. You know why she's bringing that up? She's bringing that up because she doesn't write any of her songs. She's a puppet performing. And she feels insecure. And people always, you know, probably bother her about that. And she can't take it. You know, but hey, man, uh, <laughs> it's like it is what it is. Uh, this girl is tripping. And then she was like, Safari wrote all those songs for Nicki Minaj. Well, he didn't because if Safari had wrote all those songs for Nicki Minaj, Safari would have some hits, wouldn't he? You know, he's been away from her for, what, four or five years. Uh, you, you think Safari would have had a hit record by now, right? Or been writing for other people. If you come in the game writing, and I, I can attest that Safari was a backup dancer, okay? That's what he was in the beginning. Came Nikki's boyfriend. And, you know, he stuck around. He's lucky he's in the game. He's lucky right now that he had a storyline for Love and Hip Hop and everything. To He should, he should feel lucky he's in the game. Yes. You were a part of a major machine, and yes, he supported Nikki, meaning not money-wise, just as a friend, you know, as a boyfriend. And it does feel bad when a friendship like that comes to an end, but he was cheating on her, okay? <laughs> he got caught cheating on her at Sean Kingston's house, okay? That's what happened, and you know, it is what it is. Uh, now, yeah, I'll play some of this BS. I'll play it for you. How this industry works and it's so sad and it's, it's just it's so upsetting because people put a lot of work into getting things done and then y'all hear oh she didn't write that book oh well. yeah uh she's upset because she under like people realize that she doesn't write her own music and then they're like you know she's going downhill okay she might come back up the hill but right now you know she made a bunch of money don't forget she's in a 360 deal so every 
every little deal she closes, makeup, uh, whatever, they get a piece. She's in a 360 deal, okay? <laughs> so now she was forced to apologize. And, uh, wait, hold on. Here we go, right here. Oh man, listen right here. She's forced to apologize in this video because she misspoke. So I have to call me and fuck my Bible. Yeah. But anyways, like I was saying, I forgot <laughs> that Nikki's uh, fandom, majority of them are brainwashed and brain dead and are just so in love with her that they believe anything she says or whatever, but whatever. Anyways, um, not once did I ever say that Nikki doesn't write all of her music or that Cardi doesn't write all of her music or that City Girls or Lil Wayne or any of the people that I brought up earlier. I did not say they don't write all of their music. What I said was hooks are given to them, verses are given to them sometimes. <laughs> That's it. So for y'all that are bringing up the videos of, um, of Nikki videos of um of Nikki saying that she wrote Go Form and Chun Li and all that. I know Nikki writes some of her stuff. I never not once did I say Nikki doesn't write all of her stuff. I don't know man. You know why is anyone giving this girl any attention anyways? She's not really a factor. She's a kid. And you know what? I don't believe she's 16 years old. I really think she's like 18, 20. I think they lied on Dr. Phil uh, about her age. And she's obviously a lot older because she doesn't have a guardian for the past two years watching over. You know, it's like, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. She's still young, super young. And this is the problem with so. I don't know. Like, it, this is going to be... It's a weird time, that's all I could say. You know, it's very weird. And this girl is very weird. Uh, she, A lot of people like to clash all the time and say crazy things. I mean, Young Thug used to do that with Lil Wayne and a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, it brings you some attention, but it, it's not really good for the long term of everything. Um, anyways, uh, what else we got going on out here? Uh, we got... Boosie, he lost his dog. That's sad. You know, we don't deserve dogs, man. They're so cool. I love my dog, and you know, dogs are just amazing. So, you know, Boosie, I uh, uh, said he's gonna give back the money or just postpone some videos he's got to do with some features. But you know, let's send some support his way. Um, and then let's just talk for a second. We already talked about this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll brush on this a little bit more. So now people, now Kaepernick's lawyers coming out saying that Jay-Z did like a backstab, you know, in a way, he, he, I forget how he worded it. Basically, he was saying that, you know, uh, it was shocking what Jay-Z did, okay? Listen, I, I, you know, I listened to some people on ESPN talk and some other people. And, you know, they made some good points. You know, Kaepernick wasn't there during the uh, Black Lives Matter movement. Um, he was recently there when he got benched in 2015. And he did bring a lot of attention to um, police brutality and everything, which is good, right? You know, but it took for him to get benched to, like, start doing that, right? Which is fine. Kaepernick did a lot. And he took it to a certain level. He brought awareness to it. And now, jay Z is going to take it to the next level. Now, yes, jay Z is going to make money. Kaepernick made money, okay, doing this with uh, Nike and with a settlement from the NFL. And, you know, it's people make money. Maybe he's upset that he's not involved in this transaction. I think it's still funny style but jay-z moves like a savage businessman he did with uh rockefeller he does with a lot of things you can see it you know he 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 talked dame and bigs into signing signing over their you know their percentage stakes in their companies to him for a small amount of money compared to what they were worth and then jay-z turned around and sold it for more 
Um, but he's a savage businessman. There's no loyalty in business. There just isn't. You know, uh, it is what it is. So he's going to take this NFL partnership and probably do great things with it. And, you know, I, I bet you he will involve Kaepernick later. You know, but for right now, you got to play a role to get in. It's still still funny style to me, but, you know, it, it, this is how things work, you know. So um, I'm sure he will involve Kaepernick later. Uh, was it done probably with, you know, no conversation or anything? Yeah, that was done improperly, but... If he had spoken to Kaepernick, imagine them talking now. Oh, yeah, we spoke to Jay-Z and we bless it. Then the NFL would be like, oh, gosh, they don't like Kaepernick. They don't like him. You know, like, that's just the thing, you know. So he has to move a certain way. You know, that's all I can say. But um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, you know, however this thing shakes out, it shakes out. You know, it's like we don't have a, a say in it anyways, you know. So it, it's not really it's me. I feel bad for other people that, you know really feel a way about it you know i mean i we all should feel a way about it but you know it's like nothing's really being done to stop police brutality and something does need to be done like for real for real you know um so because it's it's just out of hand anyways guys i appreciate you guys so much and i hope you guys are having a great day i appreciate you for watching and uh, i hope you hit that like button and i hope you do all that good stuff and i hope you guys have a great day uh, appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News, and I'll check you on the next one.